I'm coming back to the island She said Coming back to the sun I got my mind all made up I'm making that Caribbean run Got my mind all made up I'm making that turtle run Hi, my name's Aragorn I'm Aragorn de Creed I'm from the British Virgin Islands, Tortola I am one of the co-founders of the Caribbean Artisan Network. Um, it's been a great weekend. We've had visiting artisans from throughout the Caribbean. My name is Jassy Wells from the island of Trinidad. I am from the beautiful island of Dominica. Trinidad. Dominica. Tortola. I live in Tortola, British Virgin Islands. From as far afield as Suriname right up to Jamaica this year and pretty much nearly every island in between. I'm into a variety of handicraft, a mixture of calabash and leather and local seeds I take and do all my jewelries and so on. And here I am in the craft festival in Tortola. It's a great time here. I am from the beautiful island of Dominica where everything is natural and local, where we produce the handwoven baskets which is a handed down tradition from our ancestors. I do a line of ecological jewelry. Um, the vision behind my line is making use of things in your natural environment and working in harmony with nature. These are the local beads made from the trees. Trees, and these are the shacks. These are our monkeys made out of dry coconuts. And these are our pencil holders made out of bamboo and this is our bamboo cup we could drink juice <laughs> I make the steel pans right, from Trinidad this is all the song and whatnot okay, this is what I produce from Trinidad Sam and Victor um, representing basically the whole of the Caribbean. We do a fair bit of recycling in this particular case. I've done bottles. Bigger work would be trees that have either been damaged in hurricane damage or been removed from construction sites, for example. We try not to harm anything and just use what's around us and create beautiful things as much as we can. <laughs> I'm a fiber artist. I do batiks, I do quilting, uh, dolls, anything that has to do with fabric or natural fibers. I do work with shells, seeds, sand. So I do dolls, jewelry from bamboo, calabash. Try a little bit of everything. Yeah, I come with a scope of fashion. Fashion is the word, right? From crochet. I'm from a different angle because I like I do outfits, I do dresses, I do vests, I do short pants outfits, I do bathing suit, handbags, hats, you know. So it's a variety from Kushi. I'm in the area of hand carved furnishings in terms of mirrors, house mirrors. The quality of wood that I use, which is mahogany seed antique as you can see. And they are all different size, shape, colour to decor your homes and stuff like that. We um, showcase about 30 different artists, mainly from the BVI and some other Caribbean islands. And we just have a few samples here today. I make bracelet pieces of old coral and make bracelets. They have a long process. You've got to boil them for at least two hours and a half. And after you finish boiling them, you twist them and style them up. The basket, I cut the rope up into pieces, mince them up, weave them in. I put colors, I blend colors with colors of the same rope and make beautiful design on, on it when I finish. This is the wool that he grabs from the jungles in Dominica, from the forest. Brings them home and starts carving, sanding, preparing them. And it's so local made, all at home. The drums made with love. Yeah, I'm with with Haiti. So I'm, I'm a full artist, you know, I like, I join for my life, so I like it, I do everything on it. Exactly. To draw is uh, the boat because the people like it. I sell a lot on it and marketplace too. Uh, the village sign, uh, my customer, they like it for well. My art is kind of abstract, experimental work. Kind of. Use a lot of bright colors and some figurative high contrast uh, but just a lot of experimenting really most of my work here are 
depicting what things, life in Dominica and what's going on you know, for the people. And I work in different materials, acrylic, thread, but that's what I have here so far. But basically I work with anything I lay my hands on. So you can see it's, um, it's, been, a, it's been a busy weekend actually, a lot of people coming through from the from the BVI tourist sector as well as from the school sector. We had 200 school children by here the other day, which was quite a sight. And also just general local families coming out for the weekend to en enjoy the festival. And we have caribbeanartisan.net, which is the website which does carry information. But on Facebook page, it goes to um, Caribbean Arts and Crafts Festival. So yeah, have a look at us online and um, keep, keep up with the progress with the event as it develops for next year. And yeah, thanks very much for coming and, and viewing it all.